Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves, the channel dedicated to bringing you Everything Valves. In today's video, we will be disassembling a wafer butterfly valve. This valve is ductile iron with a nickel plated disc and a Buna seat. We want to start by removing the lever, unloosening your tightening nut here. Here's your lever. Next, we want to remove the locking plate, which has different positions to lock it. You want to remove these two bolts here. This is your locking plate. To remove the stem here, we need to remove this locking pin located here. So you want to take a tool, this is your locking pin here. So here you have your stem. To remove the stem, you want to take some pliers and pry it. The stem was going to pull out completely. It's a long stem. It takes you have to pull it all the way out here. Here you can see the groove. As you can see here, this is your grease fitting here. It would inject grease in and it would come out. So here's your stem. All your grease. And this is a notch that goes into the body here at the bottom. So now we want to remove our disc, so we should be able to open the disc and simply pull out. And here you have your disc. So when your stem comes, you see the slot here, how it's grooved? Your stem comes in like so and will lock into that groove there, turning it. This is the device that locks and turns the disc. And the, the seat is not removable. There's a special process that helps it adhere to the metal. So this cannot be replaced in this type of butterfly valve. So here you have the butterfly valve. You're gonna have your lever here. This is your positioning plate with the bolting. You have your stem here, your disc here. This is gonna be your seat and your body here. Here you have your grease fitting and your stop pin here. These are all the components that make up this type of wafer butterfly valve. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe for more valve videos. Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves and we'll see you in the next video.